PVC trim welder and how to use it. You'll either get a dispensing gun or a caulk gun adapter with the small cartridges of PVC trim welder. To assemble the gun, tilt the front section, make sure it pivots, slide the plungers with the notch side down in through the front of the gun, lift up on the lever, pull it back all the way. This pivot allows you to insert a cartridge. This is PVC trim welder Fast Cure. It's a two-part structural acrylic based adhesive designed specifically for PVC and many other building materials. The gun latches down. You twist 90 degrees and remove the cap. You notice when you remove it that there will be a little bit of white residue on one side only of the cap. The mixer goes on the same way the cap came off. It pushes on with a 90 degree turn. Now to use PVC trim welder, it's a matter of burping the cartridge just to make sure that both the resin and the catalyst arrive at the tip of the mixer at the same time. That much material, if you lift up on a metal tab, it will stop the dripping. Apply a bead of PVC trim welder directly in the center of the bond you want to make. In this case, a miter, a 45 degree miter. Press the two pieces together and you will notice that there is a small amount of squeeze out. That squeeze out can be removed now while it's still wet. It can be smoothed with a finger or a putty knife or allowed to remain and sand it off after it's cured. Fast Cure PVC trim welder gives you four to five minutes to work with the parts, get them aligned, make the joint. Then you need to leave the product uh, alone, the joint alone, for about 15 or 20 minutes. That will give you what we call handling strength, where you could remove any clamps that were necessary. Um, you could pick it up gently and set it aside to finish curing. In 60 to 90 minutes, curing will be functionally complete and you can mount the window surround or door frame or uh, whatever the component is that you're putting together.